We are about to shoot the approach into runway 5, Kahalui, Maui. We got Kerrigan here, our newest and freshest private pilot who just passed his check right here recently. And uh, we are going to uh, show you how the angle of attack indicator works. We're currently in cruise flight, getting ready to uh, shoot the approach. We're doing about 128 indicated, and Kerrigan's going to start slowing down here in just a minute and getting down. Now, notice the green light, and that means we're in cruise angle of attack. As we start to slow up, you'll start to see the colors change. The blue donut, is, when you see the blue donut, that means that the uh, we are at the optimum angle of attack, which is our lowest drag, maximum lift, and you'll see that it corresponds to the perfect approach speed. Eileen Bravo, you turned it to the numbers of runway 5, runway 5, clear to land. Turn for the numbers runway 5, clear to land, runway 5, Eileen Bravo. Alright, so we've been cleared direct to the numbers. And you'll see now he's going to start putting in flaps. And you'll start to see that the uh, aircraft's starting to slow down. And there's our first yellow bar. The yellow bar represents that the aircraft is slowing up and the angle of attack is increasing. We'll be looking for about 90 knots, but you know, with the angle of attack indicator, we really don't need to look at the speed, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill his primary flight display. So he's going to have absolutely no reference to speed. I don't want him looking at the uh, number two speed indicator. What I want him to look for is to get on the blue donut and start slowing up. There's two yellow bars. You can see we're starting to get slowed. All you need to do is focus on the, your target on the runway and make sure that you're at the optimum angle of attack. All right, so here you put in full flaps. And uh, as you can see now, we are at one yellow bar. Next, we're gonna get a half donut, and then we're gonna get a full donut just coming up. We Once we're at full donut, then that's where we wanna be. We don't wanna be at all in, in the red until we're in the flare. And you can see that he has a target chosen. Now, his angle of attack will increase as he turns that base to final kind of a side step or side slip maneuver. Wind check. Uh, wind is 050 at 13 gust 22. So this is fine. You know, when you've got high wind conditions, there's your donut. So when you're at uh, half donut and half yellow, uh, which is fine in high winds, you want to add a little bit of power to stabilize, just a touch of power. There you go. And there's the blue donut. Look at that. Absolutely zero reference to airspeed. Now as he flares, you'll see the red lights start to come up. There it is. And you'll hear the stalwart right there. Awesome job. Perfect landing. Absolute squeaker. And this shows you folks that using the angle of attack indicator, if you're right at max L over D, right at the blue donut, you can grease every landing. Nice job, Kerrigan. There's nine Lima Bravo, right turn on taxiway Alpha, left to taxiway Foxtrot, hold short of runway two. Right, right Alpha, left Foxtrot, hold short of runway two, then Lima Bravo. Nice job for a brand new private pilot. Thanks for watching.